As we join together for worship, Psalm 84. It's hard to get down to a top 20 or 30, but this psalm, Psalm 84. Oh, one day, one day, one day in your courts, Lord. Oh, one day, oh, one day, oh, one day in in your coin sword is better than a thousand outside yeah of your corn sword yeah. is better than a thousand outside of your corn so oh lord we sing a oh, one day a oh, one day a oh, one day is better in your corn sword a oh, one day a oh, one day a oh, one day in your corn sword a oh, one day a oh, one day lord a oh, one day is better in your corn sword than a thousand in the tents of a wickedness one day in your courts is better than a thousand outside in the tents of a wicked wow wow what a heart for the lord yeah you guys ready One day is glorious in your courts, Lord. How I love the scripture. It's better than a thousand outside of your courts and outside of your presence, Lord. Oh, it's better than a thousand in the tents of wickedness. One day in your presence and your courts, Lord, yeah, is better than a thousand outside of the courts of your presence. In the tents of wicked, I'm not dwelling in the tents of wickedness and lawlessness, Carla. Yeah, better than a thousand in your presence, God. One day is better in your corn sword. Oh, one day, oh, one day, oh, one day is better in your corn sword than a thousand, than a thousand days in the tents of wickedness, oh Lord. Oh, no, 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 no. One day in your courts and your presence is better. So much better than a thousand day in the tents of a wickedness, Lord. One day in your courts and your presence is so much better than a thousand days in the tent of a wickedness. Ah, one day in your presence in your courts is so much better than a thousand outside of it oh lord yeah. here we cry out oh, well. oh one day oh one day one day is better in your corn sword one day one day one day is better in your corn sword one day oh one day my God, one day is better in your corn sword. One day, oh, one day, oh, one day is better in your corn sword. 
One day in your courts, living in your presence is so much better than dwelling in the tents of a wickedness. This is Psalm 84, verse 10, one of my all time favorite Psalms. How amiable are your dwelling places, O Lord of hosts. And passing through the valley of weeping, worshipers make it a place of springs and fountains. Springs and even though we walk through the valley, the valley of weeping, the valley of Baca, worshipers have learned how to turn really hard things into the place of springs and fountains. Springs and fountains in your presence. My God, springs and fountains in your presence. Yeah. Though we walk through the valley of weeping, worshipers make it a place of springs and fountains. Oh, we worship you even in the valley of a weeping Lord. We can pass through you the valley of weeping and it becomes a place of springs and fountains because of your awesome presence. I sing your awesome presence because of your presence, Lord. Because of your presence, Lord. Ah, because of your awesome, holy, and anointed presence, God. Here we go. Psalm 84. We sing out well. One day, one day, one day in your courts, Lord. One day, one day. One day in your courts, Lord, one day, one day, one day in your courts, Lord, is better than a thousand outside of your presence in the tents of wickedness. I will not live there, I will not live there. One day in your courts and in your presence is better than a thousand days in the tent of wickedness well living in your presence in your courts lord one day is better than a thousand outside of it in the tent of in that awesome one day in your courts and living in your presence is so much better than one day a thousand days outside of your presence oh yeah one day in your presence in your court is thou better than a thousand outside of your presence i will not live there and i will not live in the tents of wickedness when you said come on in to my courts come on in to heaven's course and know my presence now come live in my presence so one day in your courts is better than a thousand outside in your presence lord in your presence lord there's joy there's peace there's soundness in your presence, Lord, yeah, yeah. in your presence, Lord, <laughs> in your presence, Lord. Lord is better than a thousand outside of it 
I will not live in the tents of a wickedness. Oh Lord, I will live in your courts, in your presence, Lord. It's better than a thousand days outside of your presence in the tents of wickedness. I will not live in the tents of a wickedness, but rather in your presence in the courts, the courts of the Lord, the courts of heaven, Lord. I will not live in the tents of wickedness when I could be found, when I could be found. I'm being found in the courts of the Lord. One day, one day, one day in your courts, Lord. One day, one day, one day in your courts, oh my. You guys ready? Psalm 84, man. Carla and I are here to do our best in narrating the scripture, the Bible narration. Twelve beautiful verses found in Psalm 84. Carla, give us the title, keynote scriptures. Pray us in. The title is, How Lovely Are Your Dwelling Places, O Lord. And the Lord God is our sun and shield. He gives grace and glory. Keynote scriptures are one. How lovely are your dwelling places, O Lord of hosts, Lord of heaven's armies. Five, as they pass through the valley of Baca, the valley of weeping, they make it a place of springs and fountains. Ten, for a day in your courts is better than a thousand outside of it. I would rather be a doorkeeper oh, at the threshold yeah. of the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. And eleven, for the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord gives grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. God, we just come before you today. We bow before you today, God recognizing that you dwell in your church, God. That we are your dwelling place. Wow. wow. And that you call us lovely. And we appreciate that, God, more than anything. That you would care enough to even think about us, much less do anything for us. That you would have pleasant thoughts toward us, and that's what your word tells us, that you think of us pleasantly. And because of that, God, we long for you. We faint for you, for your courts. Wow. We want to live in your presence. We want to live in your house. We want to dwell in your tabernacle. We want to see your glory. We want to live in your presence. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. As long as we are subjected to this time and space realm, God, we choose to serve you every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Until we get to eternity and time matters no more, we will take our time and we will love on you. We will worship you. So we enter into your presence today with Psalm 84, beginning with verse 1. How amiable are your tabernacles! How friendly, O Lord of hosts! How lovely are your dwelling places, O Lord of hosts! O oh, Lord of heaven's armies, how deeply loved are your dwelling places. Adonai Sabbat, you are my Lord, God of army, 
God of angel armies, God of the heavenly host, how beautiful are the places where you live, O Lord of all. How beloved are your tabernacles, Jehovah of hosts. God of army, heaven's armies, you find so much beauty in your people. Your people are like lovely sanctuaries of your presence, lovely sanctuaries and the beloved of your presence. How amiable are your dwelling places. Here we are, Lord. How amiable, how friendly are your dwelling places, Lord of hosts, Lord of hosts. How friendly, how amiable are your dwelling places, O oh Lord of hosts. You are the Lord of these dwelling places. Places look like you and me. God said, I will dwell. I'm dwelling in my people now. I can understand this scripture, Lord. Dwelling places, dwelling places, dwelling places. Said I will dwell in a people, and here we are, here we are, dwelling places for most high God, dwelling places, all oh, dwelling places we are, the dwelling places of a holy. guys get it it's plural not singular i labored over it for a few years this first he said kent it's prophetically looking forward to the body of christ in the new testament how deeply loved are your dwelling places verse two my soul longs and even faints for the courts of the lord my heart and my flesh they're crying out for you, living God. How I long to be there, waiting to walk into the courts of the eternal. Lord, my soul is spent wanting and waiting. My whole being sings joyfully to you, the living God. I long, yes, I faint with longing to enter the courts of the Lord, to enter the courtyards of Adonai. My whole being, my body and my soul cries for joy. I will shout joyfully to you, O living God. My soul wants and even becomes weak from wanting to be in the house of my God. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. And then deep within me are those lovesick longings. The desires and daydreams of living in union with you. Oh, stop right there. Oh, deep within me are these lovesick longings, desires, and daydreams of living in union with you? Oh, deep within me are these lovesick longings, oh my God, desiring and daydreaming of living in union with you? Thank you, Passion Bible. I said, oh, deep within me are these lovesick longings my desires and my daydreams 
of living in union with you oh, deep within me are these lovesick longings my desire my daydreams of living in union with you my dreams and daydreams Lord of living in you this is my desire knowing you more knowing you more more of you and less of me knowing you more so deep within me are these lovesick longings my desires and daydreams of living wow in union with you it closes with this and when i'm near you my heart and my soul sing and worship when i'm near you lord my heart and my soul sing and worship with joyful songs of you my true source you're my true spring of life hear it again when i'm near you my heart and my soul sing and worship with my joyful songs of you you're my true source and my true spring of life so i will worship you i will worship you verse three even the sparrow has found a home there and the swallow builds a nest for herself and raises her young. Even on your altars, O Lord of hosts, Lord Almighty, my King and my God. Wow. <laughs> Just as the par sparrow and the swallow finds a place to lay her young, I too seek your altars, my King, my God, Commander of Heaven's armies. Birds find nooks and crannies in your house. Wow. Sparrows and swallows make nests there. They lay their eggs and raise their young. The birds are singing their songs <laughs> in the place where we worship. God of the angel armies, King God, how blessed they are to live and sing there. Repeat it, Carla. It's so good. It's a message. Go ahead. Birds find nooks and crannies in your house. Sparrows and swallows make nests there. They lay their eggs and raise their young. The birds are singing their songs in the place where we worship. Yeah. God of the angel armies, King, wow. God, how blessed they are to live and sing there. O oh Lord of heaven's armies, my King and my God, even the sparrows and swallows are welcome to build a nest among your altars for the birds to raise their young. Verse 4, Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They will, be, they will still be praising you. How blessed are those who make your house their home, who live with you. They are constantly praising you. They are always giving thanks to you, constantly praising you, always giving thanks to you. What joy for those who can live in your house, always singing your praises. What pleasure fills those who live every day in your temple, enjoying you as they worship in your presence. Enjoying you, Selah. We're living in your presence enjoying you we'll keep living in your presence lord enjoying you blessed is the man and a woman who dwells in your presence they'll be found praising you oh yeah blessed are the men and women children and teenagers praising you living in your presence we are praising you 
Blessed are those who dwell in your house and in your presence. Oh, they will still be praising you. Yes, they are. They will still. I love that. The new King James. They will still see those that dwell in your house. They never stop praising. I can't stop praising your name. Oh, what'd you say, Ken? I said I can't stop praising your name. Oh, this says they will still be living in your presence. We are still praising you. Oh, yeah. Living in your presence, Lord. We're still praising you, dwelling in your house, dwelling in your ways, dwelling by your Holy Spirit. We're still praising you. Those that have learned to dwell in your presence, we're still praising you. I love that simple little verse four right there, buddy. Those that have learned how to live and flow in your presence, we will always still be praising. We'll always still be praising. We'll always still be praising you in the good times, in the bad times, in the mediocre times. Well, those that have learned how to flow in your presence, we will still be praising you. Whatever comes our way, whatever storms, whatever great things, yeah, we have learned to live in your presence. We'll still be praising. We have learned to live in your presence. So we'll still be praising. We have learned to live and flow in your presence. We'll still be praising. simple little truth. Verse 5. So blessed is the man whose strength is in you, Lord. What, Ken? I said, blessed is the man, the woman, whose strength is in you, Lord. They found their strength in you, whose heart is set on the pilgrimage or on a journey, and whose heart is set on the journey ways. Happy are those who are strong in the Lord. For they have set their minds on the pilgrimage to Jerusalem, to Jerusalem, Mount Zion. Oh, the blessedness of the men and women whose strength is found in you. Check it, you guys. Festive processions. They have joyous marches in their heart. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. It says, oh, the blessedness of men and women whose strength is found in you. Because festive processions, joyous marches are in their heart. That is a DeWitt translation with the Rotherham. Out of my 26 translation Bible, they said, oh, the blessedness, oh, the blessedness of the men and women who find their strength in you. They have festive processions, joyous marches deep in their heart, deep in their heart. Oh, the blessedness of the man and the woman whose strength is in you, whose strength is in you. They have festive processions and joyous marches in their heart, oh Lord, and one more time, yeah. Blessed are the men, blessed are the women whose strength is in you, whose strength is found in you. They have festive processions and joyous marches are in their heart. Joyous marches and festive processions in their heart, in their hearts, in their heart, in their heart of hearts. The voice.
he says, blessed are those who make you their strength. Whoa, he inverted it. Blessed are those who make you, Lord, their strength, for they treasure, oh, check it. They treasure every step of the journey, treasuring every step of our journey every day in your presence. So what joy for those whose strength comes from the Lord, who set their mind on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem, and they won't be persuaded otherwise to get on the pilgrimage journey, the great adventure in you, Lord. Verse 6. As they pass through the valley of Baca, the valley of weeping, they make it a well, a spring. The rain also fills the pools, covers it with pools of blessing. As they pass through the dry valley of Baca, they make it a place of good water. The early rain fills the pools with good also. They wind through lonesome valleys, come upon brooks, discover cool springs and pools brimming with rain. When they walk through the valley of weeping, it will become a place of refreshing springs where pools of blessing collect after the rains. Even when their paths wind through the dark valley of tears, they dig deep to find a pleasant pool where others find only pain. He gives to them a brook of blessing filled with the rain of an yeah. outpouring. Awesome. So we're on the brink of that. Verse 7. They go from strength to strength, increasing in victorious power. Every one of them appears before God in Zion. There the God of, God of all gods. See the God of all gods shall be seen in Zion. They will continue to grow stronger, and each of them will appear before God in Jerusalem. Everyone meets with God there. Let's sing it. The place of refreshing springs The pools of your blessing are there The brook of your blessing filled with rain And now pouring of your spirit is there Check it now The brook of your blessing, Lord The place of refreshing springs The brook of your blessing filled with rain and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit is there. The place of refreshing streams, the pools of your blessing, the brook of your blessing filled with rain and the outpouring of your Holy Spirit is there. place of refreshing streams, pools and brooks of blessing are there filled with the rain, filled with the rain of the outpouring of your spirit, filled with the rain. We go from strength to strength. What? From strength to strength. Yes, we go from strength to strength. Increasing in victorious power. We go from strength to strength. Wow. Can't even sing it. It's so powerful. We go from strength to strength, increasing in victorious power, you're there. We go from strength to strength, strength, I love it, I'm going from, how are you guys doing? 
I'm going from strength to strength. I don't know what everybody else is doing, but it says it right here, clear as a bell in verse 7. Oh, we're moving from strength to strength, God. Strength to strength, Lord, yeah, we go from strength to strength. Your victorious power is increasing there. Strength to, we're getting it, Lord. Strength, we're moving from strength to strength, yeah. Strength to strength, increasing in victorious. That's the Amplified Bible. It says they go from strength to strength. Somebody say yes, Lord, amen. The hearts and the thumbs are flying. Thank you very much. We're increasing in victorious power because of his presence. Oh, Lord God of hosts, listen to my loving prayer, Lord Almighty. Okay. Give ear, O oh God of Israel. Please pay attention to my prayer. God of the angel armies, listen. O oh God of Jacob, open your ears. I am praying, Lord. Look at our shields glistening in the sun, Lord. Our faces are shining with your gracious anointing. Oh, hear this again. Wow. Look upon our shields, Lord. You see, they're glistening in the sun. Our faces are shining with your gracious anointing. Wow. Behold, O oh God, our shield, and look upon the face of your anointed, your commissioned one, the Messiah. O oh, true God, look at our shield, look at our protector. See the face of your anointed king and defend our defender. Wow. The voice says this, the voice translation, behold, O oh God, our shield, and look upon the face of your anointed one, your commissioned one, the Messiah. Defend our defender. O oh God, look with favor upon the king, our protector. Have mercy. Show favor to the one that you have anointed. And this fabulous phrase, the Passion Bible, God, your wraparound presence is our defense. I'm going to have to stay there for a minute. <laughs> your wraparound presence is our defense. Your wraparound presence is my defense, oh Lord. Wraparound presence is our defense, oh Lord. He, I love it. Da, na, na, na. Oh, yeah. Your wraparound presence is our defense. Your presence is our defense, Lord. What? Your wraparound presence is our defense. That is your presence, oh Lord. Yeah. Your wraparound presence, oh Lord. Your presence, your wraparound presence is my defense. Lord, lift it up again before heaven right now. Your wraparound presence has become my defense, oh Lord. Your presence is my defense, yeah. Your presence is my D. Your presence. Your wraparound presence, Lord. 
and in your kindness look upon the face of your anointed ones it's plural all my friends on this stream restreams god look upon the faces of your anointed for we will walk in your wraparound presence day by day and hour by hour O oh lord verse 10 for a day in your courts is better than a thousand oh outside of it come on i would rather be a doorkeeper stand at the threshold in the house of my god than to dwell in the tents of wickedness i offer praises to you lord with the ten-stringed lute my small guitar and i sing psalms to me I am singing psalms to you. One day spent in your house, this beautiful place of worship beats thousands spent on Greek island beaches. What? For just one day of intimacy with you in your temple courts is like a thousand days of joy rolled into one. I'd rather stand at the threshold in front of the gate beautiful ready to go in and worship my God than to live my life without you in the most beautiful palace of the wicked. Here I am standing. Here I am standing at the threshold of my God. Here I am. Here I am standing, here I am standing at the threshold of my God. And one, two, three, we're ready, we go in and worship our God. One, two, three, we're ready, we go in and worship our God by a new and living way, yeah. One, two, three, we are ready, we go in and worship our, that is so cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, one, two, three, we are ready, we go in and worship our God. I will not live my life without you. In the most beautiful palace of the wicked, I will not, I will not live my life without you. In the most beautiful palace of the wicked man, wicked man, oh, I will not live my life without you. In the most beautiful palace of the wicked, oh Lord. Guys, ready? Here we go. And one, two, three, we are ready. We go in to worship our God. Woo! Well, one, two, three, we are ready. We go in to worship our God. And that's sweet. Love the word. And one, two, three, we are ready. We go right in to worship our God. Yeah. Oh, well, one, two, three, we are ready. We go in to worship our God. For the Lord God, verse 11, is a sun and shield. He gives grace and glory. What would you say, Ken? I couldn't understand you. For the Lord God is our sun and shield. Ah, he gives grace and glory, and no good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord gives grace and he gives glory. And no good thing does he withhold 
from those who walk uprightly. Check it, you guys. It's strong. It's so powerful. Sun to enlighten. Shield to protect us. The Lord has favor. He has honor to bestow. And to innocent lives, he will never refuse his bounty. That's the Knox translation. Hear it again, it says. Sun to enlighten, you give the shield to protect us. Lord, you have favor and honor to bestow. To innocent lives, you never refuse. Your bounty, Lord, wow. Your bounty, sun to enlighten, shield to protect us. Lord, you have favor and honor to bestow. Sun to enlighten, a shield to protect us. Oh, my God. Lord, you have favor and honor to bestow on innocent lives, on innocent lives. You never refuse your bounty. You never refuse your bounty on innocent lives, Lord. Oh, you never refuse your, your bounty. Come on, do that again, son, to him. I can't help it. It's very low. Get it. Sun to enlighten. A shield to protect us. You have favor and honor to bestow. Sun to enlighten, Lord. There's your shield to protect us. Lord, you have honor and favor to bestow. Sun to enlighten, and there's your shield to protect us with favor and honor to bestow. Yeah, yeah. And on innocent life, you said on innocent lives, you will never, never, ever refuse your bounty, Lord. For the Lord God is a sun and a safe covering. The Lord gives favor and honor. He holds back nothing good from those who walk in the way that is right. He holds nothing back good from those who walk in the way that is right. And then our friend, the Passion Translation. For the Lord God is brighter than the brilliance of the sunrise. Wrapping himself around me like a shield. <laughs> what? For the Lord God is brighter than the brilliance of the sunrise. Wrapping himself around me like a shield. He is so generous with his gifts of grace and glory. Thank God. He is so generous with his gifts of grace and glory. And those who walk around his past with integrity, they will never lack one thing. The scripture records they will never lack one thing that they need for he provides it all. Never lacking one thing that you need for he provides it all. And finally, verse 12. O oh, Lord of hosts, blessed is the man who trusts in you. O oh, eternal one, commander of heaven's armies, how fortunate are those who trust in you. Lord of virtues, blessed is the man that hopes in thee. Lord of hosts, the happiness of a man who trusts in thee. O Lord of hosts, blessed, fortunate, and to be envied is the man who trusts in you 
leaning on you, believing on you, committing all and confidently looking to you, and that without fear, without misgiving. And the Passion says, O Lord of Heaven's armies, what euphoria, state of excitement, fills those who forever trust in you. And I wanted to leave this stream today with a, just an encouragement because these are such hard times to navigate. And when I said, I asked the Lord, what could I say that would be an encouragement? And as I closed my eyes, I saw this picture that I had drawn on the inside of my, one of my very first Bibles. And it was a picture of a train and it was on a track. And underneath of it, I had written, keep your life on track. And the train wasn't, the engine said, God's word. And the coal car said, faith, my faith. That's right. And the caboose said, my experience. So as long as the word of God, God's word is your first. engine, is the first thing right. on the track, and you know the the uh, power of a train is in the engine. Anything else can't go by itself. It has to be pulled by the engine. So the engine is God's word. The coal car is faith. And the, and the caboose is our experience. And then he gave me these three words that I particularly live by, or these three statements. God said it. I believe it. That settles it. <laughs> God said it. I believe it. That settles it. Have a blessed day. <laughs> <laughs> There's Carla's sermonette. Dial a prayer, dial a sermonette. That was awesome. I think that originally came from, we were studying Watch the Knee back in the day. No, oh, that is so good. Let me repeat it again, and then I'm going to close with, uh, I'm pretty sure this is truly a song. I'm going to close with from the 70s. How lovely are your dwelling places. But the engine is, is um, the word of God. The coal car is faith. You put faith in the word, and your experience will follow. I had no idea a car was going to do that, but that is a, that's a great word for right now well for every day studying is what i was talking to a friend my videographer today and i said bro i'm staying fresh because i'm two hours at least five days a week in the word getting these narrations ready for the streams for you guys <laughs> for carl and i to sit here and actually narrate we end up some people say actually what are you doing well we're taking one verse with four or five different translations lingering on it so there's greater remembrance in that but also it gives greater revelation but i love it i'm going to take that god said it i believe it and that settles it that that's another one that was probably on a, a banner or a license plate or it was some place where people a bumper sticker is what i meant to say how lovely are thy dwelling places, my soul longs for the courts of the Lord, old school, my heart. like we would do this for an hour <laughs> and linger in his presence right out of Psalm 84, the scripture we did today. And how lovely are thy dwelling places. My 
soul longs for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. You are my King. You are my King. You are my King and my God. I see it, Scott. Honestly, we need to get back to some of these songs. Where's Lynette at? I want to know what she was there. We were doing it in 1974 and 75. I want to give a special shout out to my friend. Yesterday, I interrupted. I said, is that Scott Shadsline, my pastor friend? And he put on there, yeah, I died. I, I called him at uh, 520 yesterday. <laughs> He's saying, I'm not joking, it happened in June when I had COVID, he had a heart attack, was gone for 20 minutes with the Lord. Oh, you guys hear this, this is Pastor Scott and his wife Kristen, <laughs> and I called him, man, we were, we laughed so hard, right, Scott? <laughs> I was laughing so hard for a couple minutes, we didn't even talk, it was... <laughs> Scott, his life brings me so much joy because we're a whole lot together. We might be a little ADHD. As my daughter Ariel said, Dad, were you ever on medication? <laughs> I said, no, and I never will be. This is the Holy Spirit, man. <laughs> but I want to thank God for Scott's life, that he's here, he's not home with the Lord. And they just had a brand new granddaughter these days are so important and he was one of going supernatural time for the supernatural you guys ready come on let's do it a couple more times we own the joint we own the stream nobody can kick us off how lovely are thy dwelling places my soul Longs for the court of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy. Somebody help me out right now. We worship you. We sing, O oh King of Kings. We worship you. Ah, oh, we believe in your miracles. We're here for the great awakening and revival, Lord. This is the time of the great awakening. Ah, Signs and wonders are coming right now. The time of the great awakening. Great awakening. And the outpouring of your Holy Spirit. Because <laughs> my heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God, you are my King, you are my King, you are my King and my 
and here's Lynette, our good friend. She said, so many fond memories and many created by Kent and Carla Henry back in the day, New Covenant Fellowship. <laughs> 1974, 75, and 76, a Holy Spirit was coming like waves through our fellowship. If you don't know the story, here's the short version. I started leading worship June of 1974, 75 kids at this very big bit building that would seat like 1,500 people. And it grew to 1,500 on Saturday night by itself in the power of the Holy Spirit, in the presence of the Lord in two and a half years. And that is a conservative number. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. We keep hearing the Lord say, this year, revival. This year, great awakening. God is not shocked by all that has happened and certainly not shocked by what he's going to do. He doesn't need anybody's permission, right, Scott? He could take every revival we've ever seen since the Jesus people movement of the 60s and the charismatic renewal of the 70s and 80s, mix it all up together, and then do add brand new things that we've never seen him do. <laughs> I'm living for this time. We are living for these moments of revival, great awakening, and the outpouring of his Holy Spirit. Somebody say, yes, Lord, hallelujah, let's get it on for Jesus. <laughs> we're all really messed up, you guys, but we ran into Jesus and he fixed it all. <laughs> we're all really messed up, but we ran into Jesus and he fixed everything. <laughs> hallelujah. All right, I love you guys. We will see you on Saturday night. Get ready, get ready. We're going to be doing some really special stuff. And listen, by the way, thank you for liking and sharing this because it's uh, we need to grow it. Uh, we figured out there's hundreds of people watching that never are on this screen, and we do appreciate you. All your, uh, your prayers and your supports for where we're going partnering with us financially. Thank you for all that from the bottom of my heart. Let's make a two or three year run for his glory. Okay, let's do that. All right, God bless you. I'll see you Saturday night.